Aunt Julia spoke garlic very loud and very fast. I could not answer her. I could not understand her. She wore men boots when she wore any. I can see her strong foot, stained with peat, paddling with the treadle of the spinning wheel while her right hand drew yarn marvelously out of the air. Hers was the only house where I lay at night in absolute darkness of a box bed, listening to crickets being friendly. She was buckets and water flouncing into them. She was winds pouring wetly round house ends. She was brown eggs, black skirts and keeper of three penny beads in the teapot. Aunt Julia spoke garlic very loud and very fast. By the time I had learned a little, she lay silent in the absolute black of sandy grave lost and tired. But I hear her still, welcoming me with a single voice across a hundred yards of pit scrapers and lazy beds and getting angry, getting angry with so many questions unanswered.